Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about some stupidly fast 50 freestyles happening over in America right now. And if you're in the UK like me, you probably know that we swim short course meters for a lot of the year and then a bit of long course meters when we have the opportunity to. In America, they're very similar, but they don't have short course meters like we do. They have short course yards, which is a 25 yard pool, not a 25 meter pool. And they also have 50 meter pools and very few 25 meter pools. It's weird, but metric versus imperial aside, yard swimming is really exciting. And the National Collegiate Championships and the Collegiate, the college swimming system is all done in yards. And basically they do dual meets for the majority of the year. Then they have a conference championship. And then they have the national championship and the NCAAs. Uh, in March, which is like the season finale. And right now we're in championship season, which is like the first time people are starting to get a bit of rest and they're starting to get pretty fast. Unlike the NCAAs where they have the men's championships and the women's championships separately, a lot of the conferences happen together. So the ACC and the SEC championships that are happening right now, they go like any meet in the UK, men race, women race, men race, women race. Um, and it's great because the whole teams are there. Apparently, the, the atmosphere at SEC championships where the likes of Florida swim uh, is just the best. And uh, we've got a race from the AAC championships to look at today and the SEC championships. We've got a women's 53 and a men's 53. And uh, before we go into that, that video, we go into this video and we watch the, the, the races. I first want to say I've just launched this new t-shirt. It's pretty damn cool. I'm gonna give you a little spin. I think it's pretty damn cool. It's 20 pounds shipped in the UK. There's shipping fees. I think it's 15 pounds to ship to the U US. I, I have to pay it. It's There's no two ways about it. And a little bit less in Europe, a little bit more in Canada. And I also have awesome the swimsuit guy caps to sell as well. These are seven pound 50. They come in white to there as well. So yeah, let's get into this video. Let's watch some fast swimming. First race, women's 50 freestyle AAC championships. So uh, we have a pretty cool field here, but most importantly, we have Gretchen Walsh in lane four. And now the all-time record in this event, the 50-yard freestyle for women, is 20.84 by Kate Douglas, who instead opted to swim the 200 IM, where she just missed the record in that herself. And we sort of lose Gretchen there for a minute because she's so deep, but she pops up well ahead of everyone. Uh, she has a little bit of a glide into the turn, but other than that, it's, it's, it's a really well-executed race. And then, bam, look at that. Almost 15 metres off the wall. And I mean, we're going to have to go back and count our strokes here because... Uh, she is not doing many strokes for this whole race. Let's just watch. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six strokes, three cycles on that first length. And then off the turn, again, nearly matching that 50 meters underwater. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bit of a lunge into the finish there. But other than that, Seven strokes on the way back. Louisville's Gabby Albiero, so I'm a massive PB to get second and 21.36, which is a great time. Kat Burkoff from NC State there in fourth. Third was uh, another Louisville swimmer. But uh, look, there's two things we can really take away. And this is something that's typical of yard swimming is underwaters are crucial. You know, look, look, look where they're that's 14 meters. She's breaking out. I mean, she's breaking out at 14.8 seven meters there um quite high on that kick there the foot's quite high and then bam into them six powerful strokes she has great dps i mean but also that really aggressive armpit forward straight arm technique with great rotation from the shoulders um yeah really impressive swim and that was 20.83 now the crazy thing about that is that the time that everyone gets excited for in men's swimming is when someone goes sub 20 going 19 is like a big deal. Um, I guess the equivalent in the UK would be going sub 50 for 100 freestyle short course meters. That's what they're like, you know, going sub 20, 53 short course yards. And the fact that we've got a, a woman here in Gretchen going 20.8, I mean, she's dropping time so quickly. Between her, Kate Douglas, Maggie McNeil, we could start have women approach that 20 second barrier in the coming years. So that's a woman's 50 freestyle. Fastest ever. And then we're going to turn our heads to the men's 50 freestyle because at the SEC Championships, we had Tennessee's Jordan Crooks go head-to-head -head with Florida's Josh Liendo, the Canada... 
or Canadian international swimmer who won the Commonwealth Games in 100 fly, uh, beaten Chaddy last season, a great swimmer in his own right. Yeah, basically in 2018, Caleb Dressel went 17.63. That lowered the previous record from 18.2. And people said, like, this is the best swim of all time. People didn't think someone would go 17 for years and years and years to come. Uh, and then Jordan Crooks comes onto the scene last year, Cayman Island swimmer. And everyone's like, oh, this guy's pretty good at yards. Like, really bloody good at yards. He then wins the 50 freestyle beating Ben Proud short course meters. You know I love that swim. I've talked about it a lot. And, uh, yeah. This is his first sort of like really time to shine yards this season. Also, Josh Liendo, um, first time swimming yards this season. So uh, he's on a big PB to qualify for this final, 18.35, and Crooks was 18.25. They're in lanes four and five. And let's just uh, let's watch and enjoy this swim. And you're going to see a lot of similarities between Gretchen's swim. Uh, First and foremost, the use of underwater. And that's where Gretchen won her race. And it's where Jordan wins his race. Like, he comes up so far ahead of Josh Liendo there. He times his turn better. And he actually vacuums through a little faster. And then, look, not quite as far off the wall, I don't think, as Gretchen was. Finishes on a full stroke. No lunge like Gretchen. And let's, let's, let's count his strokes. So, uh, yeah, he won with a 17.93. Second man under 18 seconds there. Uh, Josh Liendo second in 18.3, Adam Chaney uh, third in 18.7. So almost, well, almost a second back. It's unbelievable. Josh Liendo was only 0.15 on, on slower on the second 25, but it's the underwaters. He might have actually been swimming faster than Crooks, but like, look at look look at Crooks. Crooks. Crooks isn't as close to 15, actually, on the breakout as Gretchen was, but um, look how much of a lead he's taken off everyone. And it's funny because he's actually breaking up out before Josh. It's just he's so much further forward already, which is crazy. But let's count the strokes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he actually comes up a little earlier and gets one extra stroke in to Gretchen. Um, that underwater. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he's two more strokes. Um, one whole cycle more than Gretchen, slightly less underwater, but just absolutely phenomenal underwater there. And I think it's just crazy in the sport that we sort of saw someone go 17 five years ago. And we're like, wow, this could be another 20, 30, 50 years before someone does that again. And here we are, not even at the national championship meet, and we get another, someone else go 17 uh, Someone younger than Caleb when he when when Caleb went seventeen as well. Um, Josh Liendo going eighteen three. He could be quicker again at NCAA's. I, I don't see him beating Jordan Crooks. Jordan looks unstoppable here. But uh, it's a really exciting time for sprint swimming, especially. But you know, I love sprint swimming. I love great underwaters, and I, I, I can't wait to see how these guys go long course. How Gretchen Walsh goes long course. She missed the the world championship team for the USA last year by 0 0.01 in the 50 freestyle. So I think she's going to be great. I think she can go 23 long course this year and really challenge for the top in the world. And be interesting to see. You know, Jordan Crooks weren't great at the Tier Pro Series, but ultimately, not many people were. And I think you know he's going to be great if he wants to be long course as well because um, he can clear they, both these guys have this really nice aggressive armpit forward straight arm freestyle they have great underwaters they have great starts and they don't get the second underwater 50 freestyle long course but they're this you know they're very similar swimmers and you can see what josh and the tennessee staff are doing with jordan is very similar to what pod and the the virginia staff are doing with gretchen and that whole sprint group there and they've both got great great sprint groups and they've got a very similar style of doing things great underwaters and great um straight arm shoulder driven freestyle if you enjoyed this video please do leave a like i hope you uh did and you want to subscribe to the channel and if you want to support me and get this awesome t-shirt then please do head over to my website www.thesimsuitguy.co.uk to check out my merch caps and t-shirts they're in limited supply. Once they're gone, they're gone. Um, so, yeah, get them if you want them. Cheers for watching, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.